right, are you ready to commit suicide? I am always so eager to imbibe the nectar of the sleepy gods. Drink, oh, drink the deliciousness. There's a face. I was like, is it just a flower? No, there's a face. Look at that. Saint Trina herself slash himself. There. <laughs> well, well, I am sure it leads somewhere, though. Bring me to the nightmare where we will hunt the Eldritch Gods. Stone coughing enclosure. No, I thought for sure it will lead to some kind of, you know, some kind of fight of some sort. But I'm going to imbibe this nectar until something happens. Don't worry about it. Uh, you and I, we're in the same page. I am gone. So that I let me be. Really? Did you just watch me die and then you're like, oh yeah, 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 it's just, just standard business to drink up the nectar. Yes, give me more of this delicious, delicious secretion. Oh, is it piss uh, from where she grabs it is basically sweat from the armpit right there. Uh, St. Trina's pheromones being far too powerful for Butthole to endure, she's just going to keep coming back and drinking of this most intoxicating of substances. Yes, drinking more of this drug is exactly what you need to do. Check me out. Follow my lead. I lead by example, and my example is death. Oh yeah, give me some more of the arbit juice. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Scrape, and into the mouth it goes. Delicious. But oh, it's losing all of her, the, whatever sanity she had left. It's all completely gone by now. But she's not gonna stop. I've tried five times, but maybe this one will be different. Mmm, still lethal. Ah, maybe the seventh time will do it. I was about to say that fade to black was too slow. It was different. Don't turn the poor thing into a god. Saint Trina herself talking to me in the dreamless sleep of the dead. That is uh, amazing. So Saint Trina was Mikola's conscience the kinder part and that absolute idiot shed it like so much garbage actually probably the best way to go about things shed your conscience destroy all shadow of doubt let your ambition drive you forward and obliterate the opposition with no guilt whatsoever that is the way we do things around this part Mikola is a comrade in arms if only we had the same goals, he will be an ally, but of course, it's going to be a rival going forward. There is no way that he's not going to be. So it's just a different line. A cage divinity is beyond saving. Joke's on you, because... It's no prison at all. It's a loop. It's a never-ending loop of madness. You attain godhood. You reach the highest heights you can possibly reach. And then everything turns back. Please. Oh, you can actually uh, tell her. Tell him. Oh, thank you not to lie to me. I am the chosen. Not Get wrecked, son. Only I can doze off in the sea of St. Trina. Why would you hear her voice when I cannot? Because you're too much of a... Again, I, 
I won't be held responsible for my actions. <laughs> oh, you won't be re held responsible for your actions, you say. Let me don my helmet so I can properly, properly humiliate you with a Raksasha helm so I can bathe in your blood with my ultimate satisfaction actually let me let me get the latest message from saint trina right in front of you i am going to be the messenger of this sleepy god you absolute loser here comes the completely unknown mad lord and steals your thunder saint trina reveals her secrets to me while you are just wallowing in the dumps Another NPC humiliated by Butthole's incredible power. She keeps saying things. Grant him forgiveness. I like this narrative though. I do forgive all of my foes. Ultimate forgiveness being the sweet release of death. I just can't get enough of this underarm secretions. Give me more of your wisdom, Saint Trina. And every time you touch me in my dreams, I get more and more aroused. And it just fills me with satisfaction to know that this other idiot craves the same contact, but he's not getting it. Okay, she's repeating herself now. Okay. Repeating herself, let's uh, reveal the wonderful truth to this absolute idiot and laugh at the attempt. <laughs> He's going to attempt and kill me? Oh, what an absolute moron. Have you not watched me die 20 times now? Do you not know I am fully immortal? Let me come back here. Actually, it seems like this is a place where you cannot fight, so there's no way he would turn hostile here. He'll probably just disappear and come back to attack me later on. These cruel... Enough. I cannot believe your cheek. Check out this I cheek. I will stand for it no longer. You will stand for it any longer? You can't even stand for yourself. I will never forgive you. Get wrecked. I, I never will never. You. Oh no, it's going to come back and try to go gangsta on my ass. That is not going to happen, bud. You're just going to fall with the rest. Idiot. All right. So this is the end of the sunken city over here. I suppose that's all that we came to do. Uh, next up. We don't need that, I don't think. No, yeah, we did that. Next up is going up there. After I figure out a way to reach this island, which thankfully in the comments was I was told. There is indeed a way. You just need to find a way. Idiot! Without the insults, I was told that, you know, there is a way there, so I'm going to find it. Oh, seems like there's a path going down that way. Don't know if it will reach the island, but it's certainly not. It's a place where we didn't go before. But it's not somewhere I can stand, right? There's no way, but this goes somewhere. And I'm going down. Probably an underwater cave goes all the way to the other side. Would be my guess. Ah, good luck. All right, all right. Bring me some light. I went into the settings of the recording. And hopefully, I think, hopefully, the problem where Dark Souls or, you know, the Souls games or basically every recording that I've ever done is a little darker. A little darker than... The real deal, which me makes caves be way too dark. I think I have solved that problem. Basically, was just changing the color space, playing around with it. Let me go down this way first because it feels like this way is not the island, right? This is the a, a, a path for loot, and then you go the other way and you go up to the island. Just super murder, you absolute buffoons! I am so full of disdained for all these charred husks never mind this is just 
Yeah, it is the island. What the hell is going on? What are, what, what, what are the the two different paths? It's puzzling me greatly. What do you have to say? They were of ambush. Prawn ahead. Probably one of them. Can I ride? Yeah, you can ride here. Yo! Get destroyed! Catch fire! Holy crap! We, we respect the prawns. Thankfully, though, <laughs> we have the ability to instantly murder them through critical attacks. Give me your loot. Give it to me. Crab eggs. Very valuable. I have no idea how good this is in pea soup. You cannot tell the peas from the crab eggs. And it's just a delight. A delight of surprises. Will the pop of the pea fill you with pleasure or will the pop of the egg fill you with maggots after the parasites take over your stomach and they come out the other end in a torrent of, of worms it's always uh always a mystery hello mr crab you are very ornery <laughs> one could say you're even crabby <laughs> oh, but we just put down this damn garbage where are we we are at the island look this is silly i know it's silly i'm gonna go back in there see what the other side le leads to the other side leads to a little piece of garbage loot and a few exploding worms and an ever ascending path that will hopefully lead me somewhere interesting eat some of these rings okay now that is a ring i can get behind that is very cool. I had not actually tried it. I memorized it like two episodes ago. Never actually tried the damn thing. I could get behind that spell just being used as a boss killer. As just the thing that I use. Well, turns out that that path indeed led to loot that I don't care about. So, <laughs> let's go back all the other way to the other side. I was running all this time I was running <laughs> forgetting I can actually call the damn horse in this place all right let's visit some death upon this island crab how damage do you get by ring that's decent I mean, it's not great how about this John golden arc for you oh can you actually charge this you can charge it oh, that makes it uh, much more powerful I mean, it does consume quite a lot of Fupu. It is quite the expensive spell. But the power, I think, surpasses the cost. It's very good. I think it's an excellent monster killer. Hello? Perfumed oil of Rana? Interesting. Uses Fupu to spout flames. Full uh, scaling with dexterity, unfortunately. Probably is another one of those perfumer thingies. The dancer of Rana kept these concealed as they dance, marking their height of their pas their height of their passion with an explosion of searing flame and sweet enticing scents. Very cool, very cool. Jump me forward. And uh, continue exploring this land. Looking forward to whatever horrendous foe shall put themselves in my path like an idiot. Well, we have found the next idiot. And it's going to go down in amazing golden arcs. Southern Nameless Mausoleum. Give me a fight. Give me a beautiful fight. A weak foe ahead? I don't trust you, bud. I'm just... I'm gonna do one of these. I'm going to give myself the golden veil. And I'm going to give myself the black flame protection. And we're going to go in there swinging this multi-layer ring of light. Ooh, Dancer of Rana. Wow. I mean, you're not getting wrecked. The range on this thing is just outrageous. It does consume a lot, though. I respect your dual wielding. Very cool model, though. I hope that I can grab her clothes. And I don't mean that for sexual gratification. I just want to wear them. Ooh. I kind of want to see her moveset, see what, what she's all about. 
this is a gypsy lady. Okay, I have seen enough. It is time to do the fighting. Oh, so cool. Cool dancing. Uh, she does have quite a decent health pool. This is where I should be using... Uh, I should be using my PvP sword, right? That's what I should be doing. Maybe yeah, we can hard swap it real quick. There you go. <laughs> oh, that was not good. We can still explode. Alright, alright. <laughs> Let's trivialize this fight. Zoom! Get trepanated! <laughs> it's still good, man. It's just hilariously overpowered. And I feel zero guilt. Wow, that is a lot of health. That's a lot of fire damage, buddy. Let me just quickly dispose of this dancer. Your services are no longer required. Uh, you are not even fit to be in the background of a Britney video. And I mean modern Britney, not when she was in her prime. I'm saying modern Britney wielding a, a knife being a total, total nut job. You're not even fit to be in the background of that. Dancer of Rana. Let me just... What's up? She's too quick. She's too damn quick. But I am quicker. So, get wrecked. Okay, that was very fun. Very cool. I really liked her moveset. I want more of it. Completely forgot that we grabbed this, by the way. A Velvet Sword of Trina. Saint Trina. Not like I'm interested in it, but, you know, just forgot it. Dancing Blade of Rana. Dancer's Hood. Oh, yeah, we get to be dancers. Very nice. Really pleased with that particular lady. We don't have a side of grace here yet, so I'm not going to go back and uh, get it upgrade and all that stuff. I would like to look at it, though. The dance of Rana is one of burning passion, and the most passionate dancers never allow their fiery dance to end, losing even their names as they dance on. Decorative swords ablaze with impassioned red, a pair of weapons made of to be wielded in both hands. Used by the dancer of Rana strikes enemies with a dancing assault while when executing a strong attack. That was super duper cool. I like that moveset. Tragic, that is a dexterity weapon though. And I bet this is going to be somber. So we don't even get to change it. A shame, a dang old shame, that uh, Butthole can't be a dancer. But at least she can pretend to be. Oh yeah, call me Roma for I am a gypsy. Mm -mm -mm. What kind of poise does this do? Uh, poise 13. <laughs> and with the bull goat talisman. This is basically naked. <laughs> I am basically naked right now and I embrace it. If nothing else, the headset, the headpiece is pretty damn cool. All right, okay, all right. Let me uh, continue exploring this island. We shall find massive treasure, great lore, and maybe a couple brothels to amuse ourselves in. All right, we're done with that area. Let me just continue uh, riding around this place. I searched through the whole island, high and low. There's absolutely nothing else to be found, not even a side of grace. So, we are leaving. Once you decide to stop leveling up, there really is nothing to spend your runes on when you're this far along in the in the video game. So, let's just get 400 of these <laughs> and uh, not carry so much cash in my pocket. I don't want to get mugged in the in the most urban neighborhoods of Elden Ring. Let's go back to the Finger Ruins of Raya. Although I am very much tempted to go to Dragon Pit's, Dragon Spit Terminus. Wonder whether they connect. Let's just continue going this way. And if they don't connect, well, you know what I'll do. I'll just start at Dragon Pit's Terminus and keep on going from there. Let's do the Finger Ruins. Can I ride? I can indeed. All right, all right. Let's do it. Uh, what are those? Uh, their hands. Not interested in fighting hands for the 70th time in my Elden Ring experience. Actually, it's probably more than 70. Maybe it's over 100. Oh, you're new, though. Let me kill you real quick. Some weird serpentine chrome-looking son of a bitch. Get destroyed. A new enemy to be encountered. 
Oh, there's a path down, there's a path up. We always want to go the path up. Because that's the most uh, likely not to be the main path to advance the story. You just want to come this way, get some, yourself some loot. Really don't care about fighting hands, but I have enough hands clapping my cheeks wherever I go in my real life. Hey, we get another one of these. I don't think I want to duplicate anything right now. Did I even check the putrescence, dude? I don't think I ever did. I must, I must. Let me explore this plateau. You know what? That actually warrants a marker right there. A dog marker. There you go. Uh, that will remind me that, hey, if you ever want to duplicate a, a lord... A lord thingy. Let's, let's just kill one. Prove that I can with my incredible fiery sword. This is uh, perhaps slightly overpowered to fight the hands. They are not happy to get burnt on my, the stove of my steel. Let's check out uh, that lord soul. I did not even realize that that I had not, uh, you know, done the thing with it. Indeed, not in Butthole's wheelhouse. Uh, an arcane weapon. That looks pretty cool. A fat cleaver, a great axe, and an incantation. Whenever... not an incantation, a, a spell. A regular old spell, a sorcery. Whenever in doubt, I always go for that uh, giant weapon. Very happy to have it in my inventory. And I'm pretty sure we want nothing else out of all this nonsense. Uh, there's nothing really to duplicate right now. I am sure that eventually there will be. Let us continue on our amazing journey down. Kill another one of these idiots. Always happy to encounter new models as opposed to recycle garbage. So, you are very fat and large. You're not very fat. You are very large and skinny. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That is a lot of damage on that. <laughs> Maybe it's time to not wear a dancing sco dancer's garb. Butthole looks more like a bloody nun than a dancer now or an armor warrior. But I'm down with it. I'm down with it for the time being. All right, we are in the finger ruins. Let's see what they have to offer. Maybe there will be more of these skinny idiots. Maybe there will be incredible winnings when I loot corpses seen a lot of these people really from that far you're attacking me huh and you you dare <laughs> you dare you piece of garbage and then I get ambushed by this buffoon huh well this clearly spells that I must flee <laughs> we don't mess around with this nonsense Yes, let's just ride straight into the the clearly designed trap that is going to ruin my life. How about we circumvent these idiots poised to ruin everything? We're just gonna go around, find better ways of tackling the troubles ahead. Uh, don't see any loot anywhere. I do see this guy that needs to die. That is some disgusting face, though. I just noticed that they have this awful sucker for a mouth. Absolutely disturbing. Here I was, hoping for new models. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. This is terrible and I hate it. This is something I can grab. A finger mimic. I am curious and it's a crafty night. I'm curious enough to check it out. Exceedingly rare to find. Light pink mushroom resembling a wizened finger. Uh, material used for crafting items. Used by those who wish to become fingers to induce hallucinations. <laughs> they call these mushrooms the still one of the two fingers. Just huff it. Crush it into a powder and put it in a pipe and smoke it. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> this is my kind of loot. Forget about the power... What is it? Nail stone, fingers and nails. Starting to uh, get this feeling that Miyazaki has uh, an undisclosed fetish of of fingery shapes. 
pretty gross. Anyway, forget about the powerful weapons or armor. Give me better hallucinogenic drugs. This absolute disgusting thing, I hate it. Like, I absolutely hate everything about it. Oh, they did do quite a lot of damage. I respect them. Better respect their power. Alright, I guess we're good to go. The thing is, I've been kind of going in circles or going around other places. Oh, this totally looks like it connects to where I was just a moment ago. Yes, let's respect them. But also, skip fighting them somehow for some reason. I don't want to fight 20 of them. Let me make sure there's nothing to be grabbed up here. Usually at the top, maybe behind the column. I am completely blind. Okay, there's absolutely nothing, huh? There's just, just a pile of warm people. And a big fat middle finger. That's what the reference to the finger ruins is. Just middle fingers for every tarnish that comes in here. I am I, I realize I'm doubling back all the way to the entrance. But this is not how I enter this place. This is a different path. What is your dealio? Die, die a million deaths. What? Not interested. I didn't come in this way. I came in a different way. What is going on? <laughs> it's a shack over here. Please, get out of combat. It's just kind of leading to the top area that I don't think I have traversed. I just realized there's a giant freaking dragon right here on the map itself. I guess we'll just keep going. Uh, I am uh, all about exploring new and exciting places. Am I about to be invaded? This poor fellow, Finger Weaver Hovel. Aha! My theory is proven true! The Finger Creepers hail from these ruins. So now must I sound the, this one hanging bell? And sweetly cradle shall I come to be at the bosom of the exalted mother. I understood absolutely nothing of that. Finger Weaver Cookbook Bell. Uh, glinting nail. I can create glinting nails with this. How immensely exciting. Lulling bran lulling branch. Slowly builds up sleep while gradually restoring Fapu. Glinting nail. I want to see what a glinting nail is. Are you it? Uses Fapu to fire a shattering magic nail. Boring. Is there anybody anybody out there at all that actually uses consumables to fight? I would love to meet you and see your fighting style and see how it is. Cause seems like the most bothersome clumsy and weird way anybody would have a fighting just constantly scrolling through your inventory you know all the all the quick items in the at the bottom trying to grab oh let me use one of these glinting nails and then I'll throw a fire pot and then I'll throw one of these Saint Trina lily whatevers it seems such a busy work pile when you can just swing a sword left and right until the monster is dead. Uh, it seems like this is just a horrible, stupid dead end. <laughs> all, that is all that we have encountered. Just a hovel to create glinting nails. And that's it. Wow. I am... I refuse to believe that. I'm going to traverse this area a little bit more, but... I don't have high hopes. There's literally nothing here. I went all the way back down and we'll continue exploring this area, which is the, the main feature of this entire region, so I'm glad to be back on the main track. All these damn rings, they look like um, fingerprints, right? That's what it's supposed to mimic, all these ridges on the ground. Very neat, very clever. Very cool. I'm hoping to go around that awful, super 
projectile laser trap by the mega sorcerer at the back end. You're supposed to go all the way around and show him the sharp end of your sword. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm hoping to encounter him, though. What is that? Just a skull with a salt in, salt in it. Just crap. Let's see. I must be getting close. It's so hard to <laughs> navigate this damn place. It all looks the same. It's this giant dust bowl of misery and finger people. Wonder what's the story with the finger people? Are they sentient offshoots of fingers? What is going on here? A lot of people dying. Sick church. Ah, north. What? How you die? You're fighting something. Maybe you're just bad. What are you doing? <laughs> you're getting... You're getting ridden by some kind of monstrosity there. Sick church. Ah, north. North? No. I see. Go north from here, huh? Well, we reached the middle. There is nothing in the middle. Thanks. I will go north, though. There's nothing north. Of course there's nothing north. I've been bamboozled yet again. Is that the edge? Oh, hello. Ooh, die! You snaky son of a bitch. Oh, he, he moved around. Whoa! There you shoot your garbage at me. It's trash. All right. Uh, okay. It just reaches absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'll, I'll find that weirdo that wanted to trap me forever. Oh, what is this? Plump sword, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Ugh! Not gonna lie. Won't lie to you. Far be it from me. Lying to you. Getting mighty annoyed with these ruins. <laughs> this is a barren, horrible wasteland full of time wasters. Nothing to be found. And at least I found once more the weirdo with the projectile. You must die. You indeterminate garbage creature. Alright, you are dead. You are the main threat has been dispatched. And now we can carry on, go just go forward. But this just leads to the center again. What what it do? What it do? Maybe I just need to interact with it because I'm stupid. Uh, <laughs> sound the bell. Just blow on it, butthole. Just blow on it. Get your mouth right out to the orifice. Crimson Seed Talisman. That is the best talisman ever. Direct upgrade. Wow. Amazing. Are you serious? Are you seriously telling me this right now? That that's all I'm doing. There's no way I did not just summon a freaking boss of some sort. I refuse to believe that's where it ends. There has to be some kind of catharsis. Oh, they do chew on your head. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. I like it. I, that was a very um, educational experience. But it truly is nothing. You just grab that talisman and, and it's over? How can this be? It's, it's just a dead... I refuse to believe it's just a dead end. There's some kind of weird uh, wall over there. Let's go that way. Maybe there's an opening. Maybe there's somewhere to actually, actually go in between the cliffs or something. We'll see. I mean, I made it behind the wall that was saying require plump sword and all that stuff, skinny sword, blah, blah, blah. This seems to be leading somewhere, but I bet it just goes straight back to where I was. We don't care about those. We don't fight giant hands. Futile effort is what it is. I don't know. It does feel like it leads somewhere, but it doesn't. It really does not. <laughs> It just goes deep into the earth and it just loops back all the way to the exit. 
That was a massive waste of time. I... Congratulations on your new talisman. You beat the area. Well done. Welcome to the Dragon Spit Terminus, where we will spend the next episode.